do you ever, because you know you're around all these people, you haven't met Cher yet, that may be a goal, but all these other people, did you ever get starstruck? Um, I don't. I mean, I think I've been around it so much and I've been to people's homes and everybody's just a person. Mm -hmm. And they just want to interact. And I think with a lot of people who are celebrities or famous, you know, they hang out with people who are, are also in the business because you don't get a minute's peace. Or, you know, I've had friends who have been chased by paparazzi and their cars are wrecked. And it's like, they really are just the same as anybody else and are cool and want to hang out. But I think there's a lot of people that are looking to take advantage of them or get something from them. So I think it's sometimes kind of sad that you have to really have walls up. Um, the only time, I can't even believe I'm gonna say this, but I will, because I don't care, um, that I was starstruck is several years ago, um, Alan produced a movie and his client was in it, um, Tomb Raider, no, T Laura Croft with Angelina. And, this was years ago and and I hadn't and I didn't go visit the set that time and at the premiere Alan's like come on I gotta go introduce you to Angie and I'm like huh huh and I literally when he entered she, she in person electricity shoots from her I mean I can't explain it it's like electricity and he introduces me and I'm like uh, blah, 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 blah. Like I could not, uh, blah, 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 blah. and I'm like, wait, 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 wait. And then I tried to, my, I could, I just lost it. I could not speak, and and she, she just finally started laughing, and she looked at Al, and she goes, "You got your hands full." But it's like, and I'm like, no, no, I'm not really like this. But it's, I mean, I, I was just like a blubbering idiot. It was pro, it was, it was humiliatingly embarrassing. So she was in your husband's movie. Your husband brings you over. Obviously, it's his movie. And you just couldn't say anything to Angie. I, I did. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Like, I tried. <laughs> and nothing. Words didn't come right. And she I, just stood there like, oh, my well, God, you have your hands I full. Think, like, where'd you find this one? Then it was just funny. But it's like, I, it was like... I, Philip, nothing. It was just, blah, 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 blah. it was not one of my finer moments. And she told your husband, uh, honey, you've got your she hands full. She just laughed. She goes, you've got your hands full. And I tried to explain, I'm not really like this, but it was too late. <laughs> That's, and she just radiated like something. Oh, 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 oh. There, it's like an unearthly being. The energy, and I've only been around two people in my life like that, but the, it's the energy and the jolts, it's like, it's wild. There is a, there is something about her that was like, holy shit. Wow. It, yeah. That is funny, actually. So that's, there you go. I mean, listen, I think everyone, and you think if you met Cher, you might have the same reaction. I may, or I may not, because... It wouldn't matter because for her, I, I don't know. I just feel like there's, I would love to have a drink with her just to right. hang and chat. But I, it's rare that you meet someone and you, I've never, like I said, twice in my life, I've had that experience where it's like electricity and jolts and it's, it's weird. 